Thing. Okay. Great. Welcome. Uh, welcome all to financial fitness program. My name is Samir Bapat, and today we are going to learn about. Uh, we will have a combination. We will have a combination of uh, trend line. Uh, we'll have a combination of support resistance and moving averages. How many of you ha have attended the support and resistance and moving average webinar separately last week? Can I have yes if you have attended or you have seen on YouTube uh, which I have uploaded the webinar? Can I have yes from all of you if you have attended? So I know uh, majority of you are uh, aware about support and resistance and uh, trend line yes okay okay great if you are not no problem just uh, enjoy the webinar today try to follow whatever i am sharing today and then uh, you can go through the webinar which i have shared uh, the link i shared i'll share again uh, today i post the webinar whenever i upload this i i'll share all three four links uh, you can uh, go through that great so welcome once again, uh, welcome all uh, to trend line support resistance and moving average. Now, typically, typically uh, any investor, once we decide a share, okay, I want to buy some X share, maybe Bata, maybe uh, Bata India, or we decide to Wellspun India, or we decide to uh, share, purchase a share of, let's say PVR and all, so once we decide or zero down on a share, what we want to buy and earn after doing some fundamental analysis or some basic technical analysis, how many of you agree that we have only three questions? Any investor has three questions. When to buy? Can I buy now? Or stay in, if I have bought, should I stay invested? Or when to sell? These are the three questions which we have to answer once we have decided this year, okay, I'm going, uh, for this year, only three questions uh, we are going to ask, right? Should I buy now? Or uh, I have already bought, should I stay invested? When to sell? How many of you agree? If you agree, these are the three questions which uh, everyone is asking normally on all the groups here, there on all WhatsApp groups, everyone, uh, we are asking this question only. So if you agree, type yes, agree. So today, Great, thank you, thank you. So today we are going to answer these three questions using trend line. What we are going to do is we are going to uh, draw trend lines using MACD. And MACD is a very powerful tool. And today we are going to learn how to draw the support and resistance lines using MACD. Okay. Okay. So uh, let's go through this. Okay, trust. Okay, so I'll just explain you uh, how to buy, how much to buy. Yes, yeah, Elva, very good. Two questions, how to buy and how much to, how to buy, you have to go and punch the order, of course. And how much to buy, yes, that is, uh, that will come, that should always come from the risk management. Uh, how much to buy is a very, very important question. You are right. And uh, this is, uh, this will particularly come from the risk management, how much risk you are willing to take. And even before you enter any trade, your risk should be predetermined. Otherwise it becomes a like uncontrollable uh, trading. So you should always do that. So before we go to trend line, now how many of you would agree that the prices don't go up in a straight line, no price, no share price will simply, sometimes it will form upper circuit and all, but normal, normal behavior, like normal stocks. How many of you agree that it will not go in a straight line up? Agreed? If you have gone through trading, if you have seen the price moment, price action, it will not simply go in a straight line, it will keep on climbing, right? There is a always possibility that the price, if it has to go up, it will first go up, it will then come up, come down slightly, again, then it will go up, again, come down, again, go up, come down, go up, maybe go sideways, something like that, and again, go up. So any price chart, if you see any price chart, 
Uh, if you see, it will go something like this. How many of you agree, typers? If you have observed this, if you have, uh, like, whenever you have opened the trading view and uh, you have seen this chart formations, right? I hope everyone is taking action because I always say, this is the knowledge sharing session, but only attending this webinar, you will not be able to earn money. To earn money, you have to go look at the things what I'm saying and try to learn, earn, learn, earn, learn, earn, right? And uh, practice. So I hope everyone is going and how many of you are actually practicing on trading view? Can I have an honest answer from all of you if you're going back after listening to webinars, opening the trading view and having a look at it? Can I have yes from all of you if you are actually doing that? Yes? Daily. Oh, fantastic. Uh, fantastic. If you are doing daily, someone said daily. Fantastic. Very good. Very good. So uh, you have to go back and uh, look at the charts daily or at least at your convenience, but at a disciplined uh, way. So uh, this is uh, uptrend. It is going uptrend, 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 then sideways. So this is how the price goes in uptrend. When it is coming down, okay, what I'll do is I'll draw uptrend here. Uh, price is going as uptrend here, uptrend here, uptrend here. Sometimes the price will move sideways like this, and then it might decide to go up or the price might go down like this, it goes down again, goes down and moves sideways. So this movement is called uptrend. And how do we find uptrend is when actually we see visually, okay, it is up, the trend is up, simple, there is no rocket science. How we draw a uptrend line, we join the bottoms. So we'll call this as a bottom, we'll call this point as bottom, we call this point as bottom, we join a line joining the bottoms here and this uptrend, we will draw a uptrend line. How to draw, why we are drawing, what is the use, we will come to know when we are going and seeing on the chart. So three questions we'll answer, how to draw actually on the chart, why we are drawing and how to use. Just understand the theory and then we'll go for the practical. Downtrend, you have to uh, join the top. So this is the top. Again, this is the top, this is the top. So downtrend, you have to join it, uh, joining the tops, okay? So it will uh, go down, okay? Uh, this is the way it will go down. My, uh, yeah. So this is the way we have to draw the uptrend and uh, downtrend. Now, very, very important, very, very, very important. How many of you, uh, do a uh, regular walking, a uh, general walking, maybe go out for a walk, stroll or something like that. Can I have yes from all of you if you go out for walk or earlier you used to go out for walk, uh, go out for a walk or a stroll or, a, or uh, like that. How many of you do uh, trekking, climbing and all uh, like little trekking, I'll go outside and do some trekking and all? Yes. Okay. Now, or you have some experience, right? It's a basic uh, human experience, what I'm asking. Now tell me one thing. If you are walking in a straight line, straight line you're walking, you walk one kilometer. How many of you agree that we will take around 12 to 15 minutes? 12 to 15 minutes will take to cover one kilometer. Normal speed I have seen. 15 minutes, 15 to 16 minutes, we will be able to cover one kilometer. Agreed? 10 minutes, 10, if you're walking fast 10 minutes, um, I cover one kilometer consistently around 12 and a half minutes. Someone will take 15 minutes, right? 10 to 12 minutes. Now, instead of a plain walk, if the walk gradient increases, if your slant is there, then this one kilometer walk, how much time it will take? It will take more time, right? More than what we need for one kilometer. More than what we, everyone agrees? Everyone agrees it will take little more time, okay? Second is it will take more time and the same one kilometer will take more energy, right? You will be little more tired. 
then walk if you are walking 1 km on the flat surface if the surface is slant you will take little more energy to cover it if i increase the slant if i increase the degree some more maybe this is 30 degree this is 45 degree overall if i increase the same 1 km will it take more energy or less energy if we have to walk over this like this if you have to walk on this line at at this degree if you have to walk do you think you will not need more energy or less energy hello guys more energy or less energy more energy right more energy okay if i make this slant like this if the angle i make like this okay if the angle is something like this now now if if you have to climb like this 1 km will it take more energy or less energy correct <laughs> okay more energy right now what happens is in the parlance of stock market see stock market money is energy right money money is energy why i am showing all this and since we have experience in walking we are able to uh, correlate okay we are walking we have to have more and more and more energy so we will need more and more energy to climb up in stock market money is energy if a stock has to climb if it has to climb it has to go up in a small gradient not much money is required slowly small 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 amount of money if someone is investing uh, over the period of time it will keep on going like this if someone is uh, if the speed is fast it will go like this if someone is investing heavily uh, it will go like this okay now tell me one thing which is more sustainable i'll mark uh, this with green okay like this line i am uh, let me make it uh, spotlight how it works i am trying for the first time okay this is a okay okay thickness is this only okay so this green line if i am drawing okay and if i am drawing a red line which angle if do you think is more sustainable in point of view if we say money is energy which which is more sustainable it will be keep on going more easily right green right small small climb is easy whether it is for human being or for stock small climb a small climb is easy small gradient is easy it is more sustainable it is more consistently reliable okay same thing applies for stock markets also okay so let's dive let's dive uh, immediately to the stocks uh, let me share uh, where it has gone okay now see uh, okay i'll uh, remove the moving average uh, can i can have some confirmation from you if you are able to see the chart you are able to see the chart yes okay thank you now if you see see this is uptrend right this stock if you say piramal enterprise this is a in uptrend it is going up 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 zigzag way zigzag way it is going up correct now if you draw first hand if you draw a uh, uh trend line what you have to do is you have to join the bottom so you start how to start i'll just first i'll give you a brief uh, the thing and then uh, see if you are joining normally we have to join the bottoms but if you draw a bottom uh, if we join the bottoms now see what has happened was it was going at a particular degree here after here it changed the degree of moving up so if we join it here and if we join this it is going up 
or let's say if i join uh, sorry okay so if we join it here now i'll change the color i'll change this color to black okay now how many of you think how many of you think in this trend line if the price is going up because it has to go up people have to invest money right they have to keep putting money someone has to keep buying 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 then it goes up now how many of you think what is more sustainable price going up this black line going on the trajectory of this black line or this green line which is more sus sustainable which is more sustainable if you see the price trajectory in the stock which is more sustainable black or green black right so if you see why i am telling you this is before i uh, tell you how to uh, look for the support and resistance why i am telling you is if the price shoots up like anything suddenly it has a very sharp movement up sooner or later don't worry don't think that oh ho oh, oh, ho i have missed something a big opportunity nothing don't rush don't have for more fear of missing out if you see it has gone up sharp sooner or later it will start correcting itself when it moves sideways peacefully enter don't have a fomo if we see this if you see if i zoom in if you see it has gone up like this if you see the angle of this movement then it's almost short like this right see now if you see this is the basic trend and this is a huge steep trajectory it will go for some time again it will come down it will meet the trajectory and keep on going up okay so this is how trend line we have to see whether we have to draw we have to join the bottoms and see whether it is if the angle is too steep sooner or later it will start moving sideways when i say sideways means something like this it will start going up and down at the same location it will go uh, up and down up and down up and down if you invest also you will see that okay it is not going up uh, any more what should i do so that is a problem uh, you have okay so uh, <clears throat> those who have logged in trading view and have some practice on trading view if you don't have practice let it go you can uh, check it out later what i want you to do is go to functions uh, open macd okay and this only macd is written here see you can see this can you see this macd written here yes can i if you okay select that macd once so it will open this macd normally the macd will be Uh, look something like this okay when you apply msd it will have this is the histogram if you can see i'll just zoom in uh, this is a histogram uh, this yellow line is a signal line uh, and this is a msd line so yellow line is a signal line msd line it goes below and above what we will do is if you if uh, just have a look later on uh, you can see this video on youtube and see once again what i am doing you have to what you have to do is uh, you have to just make sure the histogram is not visible uh, remove that by clicking here style histogram just click only remove that you have this okay now how to draw a trend line okay okay first of all simple way of drawing a trend line how many of you want to learn a very accurate but a very simple way of drawing a trend line can i try can i have yes from all of you if you want to know a very simple but very efficient way of drawing a trend line yes okay great now look at the macd okay look at the macd see macd this blue line macd is crossing over above the signal line yellow line can i have yes from all of you if you are able to see this yes 
okay now corresponding to to this you take your mouse up okay you take your mouse up and take here and see visually visually you see what is the lowest part can i say this is the lowest part corresponding to this see this was the curve okay this was the curve here i will take my mouse up here and can i say that this was the lowest point here yes okay so for time being for identification i'll put a cross here now can you see that this if i zoom in this signal mcd is crossing above the signal yes here can i have yes if you are able to see yes if i go and see can i say that this was the lowest part here so i'll put a cross here okay now what i will do is so everyone okay this was the lowest point here this was the lowest point here basis mscd simple where to put which lower to take this or this this is the biggest confusion for drawing trend line so take wherever the mscd crosses above the signal mscd line crosses above the signal line take those two bottoms uh, for ease i have marked it here i will just delete those markings go to the uh, here and uh, pick up a ray select the ray take it to the bottom and you join this so what you have now is a trend line going further okay uh doesn't make much difference you can have a body or wick someone asked whether it is has to be body or wick uh take wick if uh, required take the wick take the body or take it the middle uh, anyway trend line is not a very precision uh, trading system okay it's not a very precise system 0.35 no now this looks like decent uh, trend line uh, as of now going forward how to use this trend line okay now before we go uh before we go ahead i would also like to uh, draw a support level okay now this is trend line uh, mscd is crossing below this right can you see this mscd crossing below here uh, below the signal here yellow line blue line where my mouse is my mouse is here blue line crossing below the signal yes hello yeah so if we go to the top see see if you have this thing you go to the top and you are wondering where is the support level actually when this is crossing below it acts as a as a support level so you can as well draw a line here and this is the support level see you see it was this crossover happened i have drawn a line here it came here it took support here formed a trend line now going forward when should i buy one question number 1 okay question number 1 if you have bought in the share as long as it is above the trend line you can keep invested okay so that is uh, the question answer number 1 if you already have the share pyramid share if you are already having you can keep it as long as it is above this trend line everyone okay yes okay second is now i have to draw a higher level of resistance again i can use the mscd to draw the resistance see mscd is crossing over below here on the top okay if the it is crossing below the top if i take a top here then if i i have to draw a line so this is one support resistance this is another support resistance okay now if i have to 
enter if i want to buy okay if i have to buy it should i buy right now my suggestion would be that buy when it crosses above the support okay one decision making one because this is sorry this is a resistance right it might go here what we have studied in support resistance it might get hit on its head it's a likelihood that it might fall so now looking at it imagine there are two walls one wall is this trend line another wall is this resistance line i'll change it to black sorry now can you imagine now if we want to see what is the likelihood of its price movement going further right one possibility it goes up okay if it goes up how far it will go anyone hello if it goes up let's say if crosses it if it crosses above this line very good height of the triangle excellent excellent so pramita is saying height of the triangle in case you have studied only support resistance see we have drawn this support resistance here let me make this also black line measure the distance between the two this is the price range measure the distance between the two this is the price range 12.66 okay now go and keep this arrow here the distance between this and two keep the same percentage here uh, right here it is how much percentage it is 12.62 take one more line draw 12.62 here uh, let's say 12 approximately 12 draw one line and this is the next resistance level okay now okay now i have shown this with arrow right i have shown this with arrow arrow to arrow you have to see and measure the distance roughly also you can calculate you can calculate by 12% from year to year that is also okay now you see we are combining support resistance and trend line and now i would request you to have some imagination or some uh, thought process how it is going to act and Uh, you can actually uh, after this webinar you can open pyramidal enterprises you can draw this lines right you have gone through it i'll upload the video also you have weekend uh, ahead of you you can uh, draw this uh, chart you can draw this line and you can observe in coming days did it follow the script what we are discussing how many of you are going to follow this uh, pyramidal for coming few days whether it is following our a uh, script whatever we are discussing today or not we don't know what is going to happen this is what is likely to happen right how many of you are going to see whether whatever script we are discussing today it is going to happen or not yes once you will see you will have lot of confidence yes this is how it happens right this is how it works out to be right so i will say we will go one by one one by one so i'll just remove this uh, arrows okay now first of all first script let's say it goes till here it comes down then there is a likelihood that it will come and hit on the trend line okay because it faced it hit a bump here resistance okay so the first movement first movement is it will go up come down and if this trend line it is able to sustain it will go up and touch here okay so this gives us a trading plan number 1 trading plan number 1 is if it gets hit here it starts falling down we will wait for it to come till here we will not buy in between where we will buy we will buy at this point 2585 we will buy the share pyramid share it comes and we will buy here okay 
we will buy at this point 2585 and this is our stop loss because this is our support level agreed this is our support level coming from here agreed yes no if it comes down to this trend line we will buy exactly at this, this point okay 2585 will buy but we should have an exit plan so if it continues to fall it should sustain above the support level if it goes below the support level better to book a loss and come out it is always good to book a loss and come out and keep money in your pocket for next trading plan okay so now if it comes down here we buy here and hold it it is likely to go till here in next few days and by earnings if you see the earnings date is coming uh, when they declare the quarterly results most likely okay most likely it will touch 3169 it might come here and it might go and touch 3169 okay fine everyone okay with entire trading plan we have discussed this trading plan go home draw this trend lines and see if it follows this is the resistance level this is the support level does it follow this pattern till earning so i have given you a trade till earning okay everyone okay can i have yes if you are if you are excited if you are clear about this trading plan number one so this is the action plan number one okay now here is an interesting thing okay now someone asks me okay tata elxi angle is sharply up okay how to identify entry point uh, my request to you is just hold on your questions enjoy this moment right learn at this moment uh, like what i am teaching correct uh, because we have around 200 people in the webinar suddenly if i start jumping from here to there it will be difficult okay so be with the game you can go and analyze again there right or ask the question later okay so everyone okay with this trading plan okay now trading plan number two what if it does not has a resistance there okay what if it is not having a resistance here it did not does not face a resistance so again uh, those who are following me how many of you are there in the telegram channel with me uh, you are seeing the uh, posts on telegram channel yes okay so i mentioned normally like pullback trade right pullback trade is this uh, if you are not on telegram channel uh, i'll post the telegram channel link uh, you can join on the telegram you will see all posts so this is a pullback trade right so this what happens is it comes here it hits here so it, it is pullback it is coming back and we have our order waiting there a limit order waiting there okay whenever it comes i will buy so this is a pullback trade and now second trade i am saying is let's say if it breaks out here if it crosses the resistance if it goes to the next floor now what happens is the price the next day it goes up we buy here if it breaks out if it stays above this line for at least two hours okay sometimes it will happen that there's a fake breakout the breakout is not genuine it will just come out and fall down let it stay above this line for at least one or two hours after it goes up buy here and you can sell here so that is the option number two so we have two trading plan which is likely movement see we cannot can we predict can we become can we play god that no no it will happen like this only can any of us play god in stock market no no i am very sure it will happen like this only can we or can yes or no can we play say no no this will happen i am giving in writing ye to aisa hi chhega ya maine bol diya matlab aisa hi hoga no nothing nothing there is nothing like that we should not never bring that ego in our uh, never possible so how to do a trading how to do a trading is no there is no operator munish uh, believe me people say operator operator it's a big 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 thing uh i'll cover the in it in psychology uh, sometime or i'll give you the, some glimpse here of the psychology why people stock, love stock market okay 
why people are so much addicted to stock market is the best part of the stock market is whatever mistake you do whatever mistake i do whatever mistake a person uh, does the beauty of stock market and why people are more and more attracted to stock market is in life since childhood since we were small we are in school we go to college we do a professional uh, job any mistake we do somewhere we have to take accountability or defend something but in stock market any mistake i do i can blame it on the operator some unknown entity out there was conspiring against me and because of that i lost money so even if i did not follow the rules of the game and i goofed up in my buying and selling but the best part of the stock market is i can always blame some outsider operator or someone out there whom no one can quantify i can blame him feel relieved no no it was not because of me it was because of some operator some manipulator out there he took away my money i am a victim there is no nothing there is no one out there it's you versus market you have to know your system you have to keep on following your system there are no operators if there are operators let's know what they are doing that's why we are studying the charts okay so from now on don't st- stop blaming any operator out there if you are falling prey to that operator you don't have a system to follow that is the problem okay and that's why people come happily in stock market and lose consistently okay so from today onwards stop saying there is some operator who will manipulate this that no it's a human tendency not to take a blame upon themselves and to blame someone else who cannot be quantified so we are majority may be happy putting it on some operator and people are also having a very common uh, this thing okay put it on the operator okay so don't put it this is the biggest psychology as long as you put on operator you'll keep losing money as long as you take your ownership okay i know what i am doing and how i am doing that's why we are learning this okay so the next plan is it will straight away go and go up either way you have to keep a stop loss even if it goes up you have to uh, buy and ride the wave exit here so for piramal we have uh, this two trading plans okay okay everyone okay with this uh, uh, trend line and support resistance how we are able to draw with the help of msd and all uh stop loss in this scenario better to keep uh, at the 50% between the support resistance or once it crosses you can keep a very small stop loss okay once it crosses goes above uh, you can keep a very st- small stop loss and uh, keep uh, keep in the game be in the game okay if it goes down just exit again next opportunity uh, we will enter now let's bring in moving average so this is a 50 day moving average again okay this is a 50 day moving average i'll just make it little thicker so that you know so we have learned this 50 day moving average right so this can also become uh, uh, like a guiding we will not bring it right now let's bring it in some other scenario okay now i'll take i'll take uh, another stock i'll delete all these lines uh, let's uh, take one more stock and then we will go for uh, some uh, discussion uh, yes adip uh, not same lo- yeah similar logic yes you can use same logic for futures if you are uh, at least holding it for one or two months right so you can use this for future also now let's take one more example uh, bata india bata india looks good huh? bata india okay okay pvr let's take pvr okay pvr let's take pvr now if you are taking pvr okay now pvr here is a interesting thing see this top is there okay let's first go with the classical way of uh, determining 
the trend line now if you see this trend line it is going from bottom to here uh, this uh, curve this is uh, macd line is crossing above the signal line here and this macd line is crossing above the signal line here so corresponding to this let's take this this line and this line so if we draw both line it is going downwards if you see if i have to join this and join this it's not going upwards it is going downwards right if i take this and further this the entire trend was going down but i see the tops are also going down so let me join if i start from here and take this top and this top see macd is going down here macd is going down here i should i can take this and i can take this let me join this as a down trend what i get here is i get a channel okay this is something called channel okay this is a channel when a line when a price action is bumping between two parallel lines this is called a channel the price was bumping in the channel and it broke out from this point and it went out right this is a breakout of the channel now taking this point which is the macd cross over here if we come back this is the lowest point i'll mark it with vertical this point i cannot take here if i go back the, here is where the macd was crossing above here you can see this macd was crossing above if i take this point i start a ray from here to and join here now okay this was the channel pvr broke this is the trend line which pvr will take going forward and if we have to see the sustainability then okay sustainability this is the trend line this one i'll make it green this is the trend line which pvr will be able to sustain going forward as long as it is above this line okay you can stay invested in pvr if you are investing for some longer duration you can stay invested as long as it is above this line it is a sustainable line 45 degree line so okay uh, then like this second is if you see this crossover is here we have drawing the line from here to here if you draw a line here now okay i have taken a this macd crossover is happening below i have drawn a horizontal line okay now so far so good everyone okay i'll remove these two lines right now as of now okay i'll remove these two lines i have drawn this trend line here i have with macd going down i have drawn a support level here macd is going down it is almost more or less at the same location i just adjust here see we have drawn this macd going down we have drawn a line let's see historically how it was see it was a resistance here resistance here resistance here correct how many of you can see just by drawing here with the help of macd it was perfectly sitting on a resistance support resistance resistance in the past support support resistance resistance how many of you can see did we know it was a resistance and support for a long long time since 2018 how many of you knew it was a support level for so much time yes sir you knew huh? okay so see this is the magic of macd so you have to just get hold of this macd here it was crossing down you draw a line go back and verify whether it was decent or not okay now let's see now let's visualize imagine and think how the pvr uh, stock might play out going in future now see what has happened here is this is how much degree this is like standing up right so how many of you who are in trekking or doing mountaineering or they are going uphill 
do you think this kind of up move is sustainable how many of you think that this kind of move is sustainable if you are climbing a hill this type of move is not sustainable right it's steep it's standing it needs lots of energy it needs a rocket power to go like that so what might happen is there is a possibility now it might go somewhere up okay <laughs> sometimes yeah you need to so there is a possibility that it might come down somewhere here or here or here and then it might again go up this is the how the price movement will work for pvr okay then again it will so what happens is wherever the support and trend line matches it is likely to bounce from it is like a double support it will come here bounce from here go up so now everyone who are is in webinar are you going to back uh, to your trading view after this webinar go and recreate for this pvr and see what is going to happen in future i am telling you what is likely to happen in future right so if you want to buy you can buy here go up you can make a support resistance line here when it crosses there you can buy third is you can throw in the macd you can see as long as it is in, above the macd trend line and support resistance be in the trade so this is the way you will have confidence of being in the trade because it is above the support resistance it is above the trend line it is above the moving average at least if it is above the two things be in the trade hold on to the stock it will move if it goes down hit a stop loss if it goes below exit and let, let the next trend line start fine everyone okay everyone good everyone happy can i have yes if you are good okay and happy about the yes okay so rahul is asking how did i get the uh, uh, parallel lines for channel parallel lines for channel i got with the macd macd going down macd going down take this point take this point draw one line uh, macd going up macd going up uh, take this line and draw you will get the just follow the macd crossover and join the lines you will get the uh, channel and everything okay okay so great so we are good we are good in time okay so okay so i'll open the webinar for questions and then we'll see some more stocks viewer choice and we'll go ahead okay so if you have any questions uh, just type in your name so anshul is saying tata power okay anshul you can unmute yourself let's go through tata power anshul you are there yes yes okay so let's see tata power oh oh okay so tata power let me hide the moving average first and then uh, you have to tell me okay anshul yeah, yeah. okay uh, this is okay this is crossing above is this okay yes. okay this is crossing above is this okay yes yes okay so i am having this point corresponding yes. to this right yes i am having this point corresponding to this is that okay yes yes so can i join the both uh, places with the help of a ray here yes. okay now okay so what i'll do is i'll keep somewhere in middle because it's not a engineering project something here and there is okay Right. second thing is what you have to do is go back a little okay now this we have taken this we have taken let's take this also okay fine yeah. uh, cross over and let's draw a line with this yes. one and the latest one yes. okay so now what is happening is if you see at the this one this is little steeper correct the inclination right, is right. Oh, correct this is little less 
I prefer normally to take the lesser inclination because it is easy for us to sustain the up move. Correct? Correct. Climbing up is easier. Second thing is, if it is coming down, where will it take support? So that is my question, right? If it is about trend line, I can stay invested. If you are invested, you can stay invested. If mm -hmm. you want to enter, where should I enter? On a pullback trade. Now, if you see, it is crossing below here. This crossover is there, MACD crossover below here. Yes. I can go and take this crossover. I can, one is, I will have this crossover and this cross, it did not cross, okay. Yes. So I'll take this cross, crossover and draw a horizontal line. Okay, okay let me draw a proper horizontal line here. If I draw a proper horizontal line, now what is happening is this is my trend line this is my support line mm -hmm. what is what do you think will happen next if you if i tell you okay play out the story for me so it will stay above uh, the uh, support support because the trend is going higher ha ha Right. As the trend is going higher, now we have two distinct lines, which we know as long as it is above these lines, we are good. It is following the story, right? It is following its uh, script. So what may happen is uh, there is a likelihood. Do you agree that if at all it comes for us to not to get worried is if it is as long as it is above the support level, we are okay? Yes. So if it comes here and let's say if it is coming here, if it goes up here and stays, we are okay. As long as it is above this support okay. and trend line, yeah. we are okay. It will go up. In fact, when it comes here, if it is coming and touching this uh, trend line here, mm -hmm. we can add our position or if we are not in Tata power, we can as well accumulate some more and buy here. That is point number one. Right. Okay. Point number two is we can as well buy above this uh, support resistance. Let's say if you see here, it has gone. Uh, this is little closer support. How much it is? This MSCD is crossing below, right? Mm -hmm. This point is crossing below. Uh, here, if I draw one support level line, uh, it is 129, 137. So almost like uh, it's less actually. It should be at least 10%. But maybe the growth rate of Tata Power is not that much. That's why it is coming so less. Nevertheless, so uh, we this is one support, this is one support, but as long as this trend line is sustainable and it is above the support level, uh, you can buy. So you want to buy, you have bought, what you want to do? So I have a few, some quantity, but I want to buy more. So. Buy more. So you one thing is you can stay in the stock as long as it is in the trend line. So you can buy on your, you can see, you can go and put this trend line uh, you be on the trend line. That is one thing. If you want to buy, I would recommend buy on a pullback. You buy here at support level or at least it comes here, forms a green candle and starts going up. Then you buy. Normally, I prefer buying at more confirmations. When it is uh, going up, I prefer to buy more on a confirmation that market says, okay, I have come here, red, 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 red candles. This is a green candle. Green candle is about to go up. You can buy there. Got it. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Great. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Also. And you can throw in the moving average also. Yeah, it is above the moving average. Moving average will also come here, touch here. So mostly we'll see where the moving average and support resistance crossover happens. Right? It will go up. Okay. Hello. Fine. Okay. Yes. Great. Thank Thanks. you. Hello. Okay. Okay, so let's delete the drawings and uh, which one you want? RC Industries, right? Okay, let's go ahead with the RC Industries and then we'll take Hindalco and then close the call. Hello? Yeah, yeah. See, RC Industries, right? Yes, sir. Now, I bought uh, at 5, 895. You bought at 895? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So first of all, uh, start with the support level. So this is the crossover here. We will draw a line here. Horizontal line. This is again a crossover almost at the same level. So either we can take this support line or this support line. So uh, if you see going further, we can take this support line or this level. We'll take this level because going forward, it looks it is 
taking lot of support at this level so this looks okay 900 looks a round number human beings are good they like the <coughs> round numbers will take it as a 900 now if you say crossover this is one crossover we look at it here this is the second crossover uh, we look at it and uh, let's join it this is a crossover so let's join it from here to here and this is the low here and it is just sitting here now okay so alok so now yeah. it is in a critical juncture right it if it has to sustain and go up it has to remain uh, and from this point onward it is at support level inclination level you are okay right now okay as long as it is this point and it starts going up this is a good to go right if it starts going down and breaks the support level then it might come to the support level below or wherever it is the support level next right right so uh, normally if you are not very uh, going for very long term i would love to exit here if it closes below sometime here this support or trend line below get out then again see whether it is forming a trend line if you are holding it for long term then it is more of a fundamental uh, analysis yes. then you have to take another right. call right Absolutely. not a technical call so don't mix Absolutely. fundamental and technical first decide what you want to do fundamental or technical and then uh, or both then decide and then go ahead fine and sir uh, i took uh, pvr at 1400 हाँ हाँ and uh, I I exit uh sixteen hundred को exit किया मैंने कल ठीक है ठीक है happy no पैसा कमाया ना उसमें क्या है बढ़िया है तो exit होना ठीक है क्या sustain करना चाहिए नहीं exit हो गए तो बढ़िया था जो whatever decision हमने ले लिया जो भी decision ले लिया वो सबसे अच्छा था ले लिया ना तो उसमें फोमो नहीं होना चाहिए ना fear of missing out नहीं होना चाहिए ले लिया ले लिया decision उसमें आप जाओ आराम से trend line बनाओ देखो ट्रेंड लाइन कहाँ है उसका सपोर्ट रेजिस्टेंस कहाँ है आप वेट करो आराम से वो आएगा नीचे अगर आपको ये है कि पीवीआर ऊपर जाएगा क्योंकि आप थिएटर्स भी ओपन हो रहे हैं धीरे धीरे आगे जाके वो थिएटर्स सब ओपन होंगे लोग सिनेमा में जाएंगे क्योंकि लोगों को ये होता है ना साथ में जाए पिक्चर देखे थोड़ा एंजॉय करे खाना वाना बाहर खाए लोग कब तक घर में बैठेंगे तो पीवीआर खुलेगा तो पीवीआर जाएंगे अगर आपको ऐसा लगता है कि पीवीआर बढ़ेगा आगे जाके तो वेट कीजिए सपोर्ट लेवल पे आएगा तब वहां बाय कर लीजिए ट्रेंड लेवल पे आएगा तो बाय कर लीजिएगा मूविंग एवरेज पे आएगा तब बाय कर लीजिएगा तो यू कैन टेक अ डिसीजन बेच दिया तो बेच दिया उसमें वो उसका रिग्रेट नहीं करना प्रॉफिट कमाया ना या बस उसके नेक्स्ट अपॉर्चुनिटी का वेट करना नेवर हैव अ डाउट और रिग्रेट फिनिश राइट थैंक्स थैंक यू ओके ग्रेट सो लेट्स टेक द लास्ट वन देन वी कौन सा एक कुछ हिंडालको पे था ना राधा सिंह हिंडालको ओके सो हिंडालको विल टेक द हिंडालको वन एज अ लास्ट वन एंड देन ओके सो लेट्स टेक हिंडालको एनी वे हिंडालको इट इज गोइंग सच अ नाइस ट्रेंड वी डो इवन विथ मूविंग एवरेज इट सेल्फ इट इज फॉलोइंग सच अ ब्यूटिफुल ट्रेंड इसमें क्या क्वेश्चन है it's such a sustainable trend it is going on a such a beautiful sustainable trend i think you can draw and there should be no question correct 50 day moving average and trend line as long as it is above the trend line just keep holding okay fine uh, so i think radha asked this question i hope she is there she has listened to this answer okay great so uh, with this we come to the end of the webinar today my humble uh, request would be go back practice and see and on have confidence to do this and on on your own that is the only and only objective of what i am having with each and every webinar so i'll upload this by saturday sunday monday you can go through it again and practice on your own so thank you thanks a lot for joining see you on coming tuesday thanks a lot